Welcome to day two of Spotted with Arthur Bleak, Uganda's fastest, you know, rally driver. And now we are getting into his family. You guys, like, huh? have you seen Beauty? Hey, you're going to see Beauty. Well, I have the first family when it comes to the rally driving uh, sports. Yes, I will say the first family. Look at her. Camera, first take a look at her. Mm -hmm. That explains why Arthur did not have any other eye for any other what? <laughs> but her. Jeez. Ah, you're beautiful. You. Mm. You're very beautiful. Let me stand next to her. Mm -hmm. Arthur, do you want to introduce your wife? <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah. Uh, you're welcome to day two of our interview. And... Uh, I uh, welcome to meet my lovely wife, Noella Blick. Uh, this year, actually a few weeks ago, we, we made our 14th uh, wedding anniversary. And uh, yeah, God's blessed us with four great boys. And we are all actually uh, a sporting family. The, the, all the four boys are now riding bikes. Mm. Uh, two are, high, are competitive, two are just learning. And uh, yeah. Um, this is, uh, like she says, a oh. sporting family. It's a sporting family, you guys. I just love the way Arthur is looking at you know the wife. Faba dugavu, oba na yetu ino kwe kufako. Si inga ba dem dugavu, you guys inga introducing ko mchala. You should have seen that. Oni mchala wangi. Tuwe si sinka na mguuni. But look at the way he's looking at the wife. You guy, you guy, you guy, you guy. No, Wella. First of all, I'm happy to meet you. I've always seen you. They wrote about you. You guys, you know, speed merchant in a skirt. Why did you join the sport? Was it to tight mark him? Manga, he has, you know, did you want to tight mark him so he decided I'm going to be the navigator or you love it as well? I love it. It's thrilling. But as well, we get to do something together as a couple. So, yeah. But it's thrilling. It's fun. There's excitement with, that goes with it. Yeah. If someone asked you, why are you beautiful? What can you tell them? <laughs> good genetics. Good genetics. So he decided to combine his good genetics and yours to make more, why didn't you spread, you know, the love and, you know, the genes and, you know, everything? I can't really explain that. I was just attracted to him. I still am. Yeah. She still is attracted. T t when did you join this now? When did you decide to do this sport? At what age were you? I think I was about 19 before we got married. And then I started again two years ago. Yeah, because we've had the children in between. So I've taken a break with the kids. Yes, so I rallied... Yeah, when I was about 19, that's when I started. Noella, was it love at first sight for you when you met Arthur? What were the signs that this is the man I'm going to marry? Because we, uh, we always make, you know, make mistakes. But I'm so glad you guys are making the 20th anniversary like together. What has kept you going? And then, like, was it love at first sight for you? I Definitely I was attracted to him the first time I met him. But it took a while. He took me to a few races. He's a nice guy. He's decent. He's respectful. He's a good father, good husband. Yeah, and those are some of the qualities. We... we we, we click yeah yes. your kids are into the sports again or your kids are in the sport as a mother don't you have you know that scare that fear that chills that it gives when when you know you see someone you know fracture their leg don't you think about your kids and worry about them that they may you know go through the fracturing and you know the, the dislocations and you know other things that come with it yes I do it's always at the back of my mind but they love the sport they're passionate about it so that, that's what really keeps me going. Um, but I am scared like any other mother. That I go through the same emotions. Yes. Why did you go for modeling or beauty contests or something? Because you're calm, like you speak so softly, you're very beautiful. Like, wh why, why did you decide this, you guy? It, it is exciting. You have to try to know, but it's so thrilling. I can't 
put my words to it. It's exciting. It's different. Yeah. You're the navigator. He's navigator. He fractured his arm. He's collarbone. Who is to blame? You or him? We were going fast. We we're both to blame. <laughs> you must have given him the wrong directions. <laughs> no, not really. No, yeah. It was a mechanical condition with the car. Yeah. The navigation thing. Do you have to go to school to study it? What What do you have to do for you to be good at navigating and you know giving directions and all the things? Uh, well, some people are going to school now, but uh, I started by going with other drivers at the beginning initially, and then with time you 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 just learn. I would go with other drivers who are going through the route. And then I started to learn the it's a different uh, language and how to yeah. But there are schools at the moment, and some of the people doing it now are going to school. Yeah. What is your normal day like? Uh, we work here together with Asa. I'm a mom, so that takes up quite a bit of my time. We have toddlers, so yeah, and mostly here, yeah. I found you with your sisters-in-law. Are they sisters-in-law? Yes. Yeah. They're also into the sport? Yes. Can we meet them as well? Can we meet them? Come, let's meet them. Hello. Hello. What's your name? Uh, my name is Irene Bleak. Irene Bleak. Yeah, also what? known as Leila Bleak. Yeah. My the woman in... Yes. Going to be telling us briefly why she joined the sport and then how far has the, you know this sport taken her. Hello. Hi. How are you? you look like Maggie Chigos. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> how, how, how are you related to her? I'm her niece. Oh, her niece. Yeah. Is it a prerequisite for, for light-skinned people to join the sport? I'm only seeing light-skinned. You should come out there. <laughs> no. Yeah. Well. Truthfully, have you been for a rally? I fear because right I fear. Now, right now we are competing between the light people and the dark people. Yes. So, so it's a competition. <laughs> the black versus the light skinned. Oh, we are not supporting her because I also. I don't know, but you guys are very beautiful. Ah, thank you, thank you. Why, why didn't you for go for accounting or why did you decide to go for valley drive? Uh, um, I think being a bleak, I followed. I followed my brother and I started out by being their camera person, the biggest fan ever, running around and chasing them on the route. And eventually I was lucky enough to sit and be allowed to drive and that is how I started driving. Was your mom okay with it? Uh, I think she didn't have a choice. No, have <laughs> You're the kids, eh? Yeah. Who leave no options to your parents, eh? <laughs> what matters why did you join? Um, I, I have a passion for rallying yeah. as well, yes. But you see, me, I thought like uh, rally drivers are hippie, they are hyped, they are like, but you're calm, all of you guys are calm. Like I feel a lost sheep. First of all, I'm black, <laughs> or I'm dark, <laughs> and then I am hyped up, you guys are calm. This is not my thing. No, you should come for one of the events. You'll feel more comfortable. I mean, it's a mixture of both dark and light. Yeah. Both of you seem to be married. Are your husbands okay? Over. <laughs> so, like you cook, then you go, or why you just run away because you love it so much? No, they're understanding. Yeah. In real life, by the way, do you also like drive fast in real life, or move moderately? <laughs> I'm generally aggressive and very competitive. So, yeah, if somebody decides to challenge me on the road, I fight back. <laughs> with the Blix family and I, I love you know I love the fact that everyone is involved everyone you know loves everyone is it's a family at the end of the, that what that is what it means when they say a family that is always together stays together at the end of the day so if, if you have you know a hardware involve your kids if you have you know a modeling agency involve your kids because at the end of that that's how you're going to keep the generations you know rolling from one generation to another other now has you know the, the, the son who is now also taking after uh, taking up after him yes now we're going to talk about faith. He's a born again. Abantu wanji mufuna sente nezibala lula. You get championships in neziba jaku katonda. You get, you know, a couple of small things, by the way. And you're now bigger than God. But this guy is grounded in Christianity. Arthur. Tata yalimuchi. He was, he was... Uh, actually, my dad, Tata, yeah. Protestant. Yeah. Uh, mama, Catholic. 
so but uh, ad, we are also both they are both born again Christians. Oh. Yeah, we get, they gave their lives to Christ, to Christ. and it has uh, um, what can I say trickle trickle down to to us. Ground, yeah, it has it was spilled down uh, spill, onto you guys. Sorry, spilled down uh. onto us. We've uh, uh, also my my wife. Mm. Uh, she's from a born again family, so. I mean, it's just, uh, it's, it's fantastic. Mm -hmm. I mean, the, the fact that they've given their lives to Christ and we, we kind of uh, just, uh, yeah, it, it, uh, it motivated us. To um, join the faith. To join the faith. I mean, they're, you know, staunch Christians, well. Mm, staunch, well, staunch Christians, staunch, you know, prayer yeah. warriors, like yeah. they're engulfed you know, into prayer. There at what go. age? At what age did you decide to give your life to Christ and say, "Now me, as me, as a believer, I'm giving my life to Christ and I'm born again"? Yes, mm. actually, I was. It was all the way in primary school, mm. and I don't know if you know the current Pastor Kayanja. Yes, I do. He had a crusade all the way in Masaka. Mm. This we're talking about uh, 25 years ago. What? <laughs> when he did not have that big church, he was uh, preaching in Bwempe churches mm. back then, and um, is you know he wasn't the pastor that he is today. He's, he's much bigger, stronger. I mean, all these establishments, which is fantastic. And yeah, they had a crusade in Masaka, and my my mom took us down there. And uh, yeah, during the crusade, I gave my life to Christ, mm -hmm. and uh, I've never regretted. I've never looked back, mm -hmm. and I'm very glad and I'm very privileged to to walk with the good Lord Jesus Christ mm -hmm. in everything we do. Everything we do, you oh, can see. Oh, I can see Jesus is Lord. That <laughs> Jesus is nice. Jesus is Lord. All our bikes, everything, and we we hope that uh, we can also emulate and uh, you know encourage uh, the youth, especially mm. uh, that uh, the good Lord Jesus Christ and the good Lord. It's very important to to have the good Lord Jesus Christ mm. to have a relationship with Him. Uh, to have a relationship with God in everything you do. You, you do. dedicate it to the good Lord. Mm. And believe me, everything else will be miracles. Miracle after miracle. We've had, I think I'm thankful for all that I have achieved. Mm. And I, for sure, it's because of the good Lord. <laughs>
the sport we've we've guided and gotten the sport from one level to, to the another. next to another and I'm very proud for that mm -hmm. and personally as a competitor I am a fighter mm -hmm. I would like to be known as the fighter not as the one who used to escort as yeah. the fighter as the fighter the pathfinder yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah so yeah we go out there to fight and compete mm -hmm. I mean like when we crushed this big crush uh, two weeks ago one of my cousins said you know I thought, why didn't you just take it easy, just drive and wait, wait for people to make mistakes and drop out? And I told him, you know what, unfortunately, I'm built to, I'm not, I am a fighter. I'm not, I'm built not built to just, to. yeah, oh. to escort others and pray that, oh, I hope that one drops out. <laughs> I want to fight with that one and we see who, who, who is, who is, worth who is the championship. Yeah, who comes out number one. Mm. So, yeah, I am a fighter and I will remain a fighter. Mm. Um, of course, like us, uh, age takes a toll on us on the motocross side of things. Mm. Uh, so I have some uh, past injuries which have affected my performance in motocross. But uh, motor rallying? Yeah, I can still give it 110%. Mm. Motocross, right now, I'm, I'm racing more uh, to be able to ride with my boys during practice mm. and to guide them. I'm not very competitive because of some old injuries. Oh. Yeah. And that, that leads me to the question of what is your favorite food and what do you do during your free time? Uh, we... Um, First of all, uh, we exercise a lot, you know, uh, me and my wife and our boys, we do a lot of bicycle, bicycling mm. in the neighborhood and some fitness training and because for motocross, people think you just sit on the bike and the bike does all the work, but you, it takes a lot of physical fitness, hey. yeah, and uh, motor rallying too, and uh, um, I we do a lot of exercising as a family and you know we we go on dates you know some dates with with me and my wife only and then there's the, the, the family boys. with the boys so we mix it up and um, apart from that it's it's crazy because we've been doing because we do motorcycle racing we do motor rallying we have businesses to run it becomes crazy sometimes. Crazy. The schedule is so crazy. We, we, we don't have time to visit friends anymore hey. because, I mean, the whole weekend is gone in some kind of sports activity. The whole week also some sports activity. Our, our businesses, we have to run them. Mm. So it, it gets, I must admit that it gets crazy sometimes. I know. But we try and, and balance. And balance. <laughs> Do you look like your mom or your dad? <laughs> both. Both. Okay. We shall end it on that note. He looks like both. I just want to know who does he look like? Because he looks like Navio. Navio looks like the mother. The mother looks like your aunt. Like but then the Navio, his other name is Arthur. Hey. Yeah. So, so Navio Arthur Chigos. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Ah, nange nazi no blunja vam diro. I would love to stay. I would love to, you know, join the family. But I have to leave you guys. It has come to the end of the show. Sheila, Arthur, and the whole entire family. Till next time. Bye.